Well, uh, the movie Roller Coaster was going to be produced by Universal Studios. Sh Sid Sheinberg and uh, um, the other gentleman, I'll think of his name in a minute, they were head of the studio. And they were canvassing theme parks uh, around the U.S. Uh, to make this movie and they, they contacted me at King's Dominion and I said, what's it about? And they said, it's about an extortionist who goes to theme parks and if you don't pay him, he blows up your roller coaster. I said, well, that's not you know, really a subject that we want to broach in, in the theme parks. Uh, you know, that's, we don't want to plant that idea in anybody's mind. So they said, well, look, uh, uh, if you don't do it, uh, we're going to do it anyway. We've just done Towering Inferno and Earthquake and Poseidon Adventure, all these uh, uh, thriller. Uh, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I said, uh, I'll think about it. Let me read the script. So um, they said, okay. So they sent me, Universal Studios sent me the movie script, and I looked at it, and they had, instead of having young high school, college students. They had transient bums working the rides, drinking beer and whiskey on the rides. And I said, you know, it's bad enough you want to do uh, the exploitation of the, of the, with the bombings, but this is not what our industry looks like. And I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you let me take that script, rework it, help you rewrite it with the right Aspects not going to change your the 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 promise of the of the movie. Um, we might work with you. So I flew out to California, met with them, and we redrafted the script of the movie to good wholesome young people and a great place to go and fun shots and everything. Got rid of the drunks and the bums and everything. That wasn't what our business was about. And uh, so they came, uh, there was a park in, in uh, Norfolk, I can't remember the name of it now, it's an old park, and it was closing, and they had a roller coaster there. So they sold the roller coaster to the movie company, actually blew it up in the movie, uh, and then they were coming to King's Dominion, and they were going to Magic Mountain. So those were the, the three parks. So. I helped rewrite the script, help give our Im industry a better image uh, for the whole industry, uh, and that that worked well. So they came to the park. Uh, they tried to talk me into being into it for a couple of weeks, and I finally did. And I played the general manager of the park. Uh, I was in it with uh, Richard Widmark, George Siegel. Helen Hunt's first movie. None of these people you've ever heard of. Um, Harry Gardino, and so these were all big, big actors and big stars in Hollywood. Henry Fonda was in it. Um, Joe Clayburgh, I think it was. They came, shot at the, at the park. I became friends with George Siegel and uh, Richard Woodmark, and uh, it was just, it was, it was fun. Uh, and when the movie came out, it was a, it was a success. And uh, it was the first movie in full sense around. And it was the most expensive movie made at the time in 1977 by Universal. So uh, it was gonna be done with or without us. I think I helped make it a better movie, a cleaner movie, more representative of our industry. And to date, we've never had that kind of problem. So, and as a result of that, that's where uh, Ace, uh, the coaster enthusiast, uh, I allowed them to come to King's Dominion, a group, Richard Munch and some other people, and they came to King's Dominion, and that was their first enclave of getting together. So that started uh, Ace back in 1977, I guess it was.